Okay, you guys, our next little video. This is a really great idea. Doesn't matter residential, commercial, industrial, doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter oil based paint, DTM, direct to metal, flat paint, latex, acrylic, uh, oil based paint, doesn't matter. If you have samples, you can save them for future reference. Something happens, you have to match it. That's the best way to do it, having your own samples. That's just the idea of the paint stick. I've never seen this idea anywhere. I've done it a few times in a few different locations, especially when we have multiple colors. And this is where it works great. Uh, too many times I work somewhere and two or three years down the line, oh, you know that paint's not available anymore, we sell this now. And usually the color does not come out the same. You have to bring up a paint sample. Uh, you might have to tear it off a wall and re-mud the wall and then uh, repaint it. Uh, certain area, whatever patch. They can get away with small patches, uh, to winter square even less at times but uh, I prefer to have a paint stick and this is what this whole video is about one of my favorite paints I don't see here is by uh, or you don't see here's by Ralph Lauren is discontinued I believe it's called suede it had very strong Western influence uh, might have been like a flux paint it has uh, granulates to it uh, like you might put on floor paint for slipperiness and it was really really good I had a really nice goldish tone um, and it had a really nice rough finish to it. it was a great color so if you can f you can still find these colors descriptions and images online and there is at least one company I remember I have to find uh, a link to that put in the description as soon as I find it it's not gonna be right away so I apologize but uh, <laughs> they say they can match the paint for you I'm not sure about the uh, feel of the paint but they say they can match the color for you so that's something to consider and even making your own uh, paint getting the proper color and then adding your additive to it is also an idea okay I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in the next one bye sample was years ago was for this location been here eight years probably at least five years ago they use several colors not as many as this but definitely several colors and every time we change the paint well that paint's not available anymore we're using this now the colors seem to change so I had to make a paint stick and that's where I, this idea came from I started doing a computer desk some shelving and stuff like that and I realized, you know what, this might be an idea, it might help others out. Okay, there's some really good samples here. I'll try to read them off the best I can. This is Sherry Williams, this color right here. This is called Soulmate 6270. You might see under SW6270, that's that color there. This is a Benjamin Moore, this blue right here. This color right here. This is Gentleman's Gray 2062. Dash two zero. This one here is a, definitely a Benjamin Moore. It's called Hill Gold. Number is one eight nine. That color right there. This is a control. This is how the board came painted, and having a control is a good idea. Next one here is one of my favorites. It's called Decorated White from Benjamin Moore. Has a slight grayish tint so it's hard to see but it matches with almost any other color here almost any color well maybe not some of the far colors but people do use this for trim a lot okay it's called decorated white flat would be one of my favorites especially for ceilings uh, for no glare from sun and stuff like that and definitely for walls high saw constant imperfections and maybe a pearl eggshell semi gloss might be a little hard unless uh it's a real summer house. We're using semi-gloss, a kitchen area, bathroom location, something like that you might use semi-gloss for the trim. Uh, not necessarily for the walls. You'd be surprised how good flat can look or eggshell. Okay. This one here is a unique color, very hard to find. Um, took me a while. It's called Merlot from 
from Sherry Williams, M E R L O T S W 2704 or 2704. That's that color right there. Okay. Next color in line would be this one here. Name of it is called Distance. D I S T A N C E. 6243 or SW6243. That color right there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this one here is called Burnt Orange. That one right there. And that is 6622. It's called Hardy Orange. I'm sorry. H E A R T Y. Hardy Orange. 6622. Okay, SW6622. Excuse me. Apologize about that. This is just a spray paint. Uh, you might say, well, why are you using spray paint? Well, some of the shelving I made in my computer desk, I actually used piping from Pipe Decor, B-E-C-O-R, and the prices were so much cheaper than, per se, a big box chain. Uh, some of the <laughs> feet uh, came crooked, so you might take that in mind your order, order extra foot or something like that, or speak to the salesman, make sure that thing comes crooked. Okay, but the pipes were very good. It seems out of every order, I got one crooked foot. <laughs> like, okay, we gotta get rid of this foot. And I, I like this to represent a flat black uh, and it will be high heat from either low Sherwin Williams or other location. High heat because it can withstand different type of weather conditions so that's what this is supposed to represent. Okay, this green is called Bavilion Green if I can find it. There it is, uh, Bavilion Forest, excuse me, number is 20. 5410. This is Benjamin Moore. This one here. Ben, uh, Sean Williams. Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore. Sean Williams. The distance also Sean Williams. The Hardy Orange is Sean Williams. Okay. The Pavilion Green is Benjamin Moore. This is a spray paint. It looks very, very shiny on there and it's kind of different reflections if you have a very smooth item it's going to come out shiny if you have a rough item it's not going to come out as shiny as it looks okay per se i started with this one here bronze which is a copper color which looks very very nice with metal so does this one but again it depends on the smoothness of the finish how shiny the colors come out and sometimes you might prefer this one this one and it's easy enough to experiment this is what i did with these two here Okay, that's exactly what I did with these two cans here. Okay, hopefully those come in the image. And other colors we got here, another Benjamin Moore color. This one here is called Ashley Gray, HC Harry Charlie 87. That color right there. I did get when I was moving on the tape some of that Merlot on here, but you guys got the idea. Um, and this one here is called China Red. CW-310 Benjamin Moore. Okay, I believe you guys got the idea. And doing something like this can help you rematch the color if the paint changes 10, 20 years down the line. If you're painting your house, you're doing a larger project, you work in commercial buildings, you have large site like I have and then some, okay? So it's a very, very good Online, idea. I got better samples, uh, better color configurations, uh, more brighter, more intense colors than I did per se going to a box store, looking at the little paper things. All the colors seem to be seven, rather muted, rather flat, rather dead. These colors do not look that way. So hence I'm making uh, this sample stick for you guys, give you guys some ideas whether you may take it on the project or not. It's amazing, I did the computer desk, oh, that looks great. I did my overhead top-down camera support for my YouTube channel and that came out great <laughs> and then um, I also did some shelving with this Merlot and this gold on the pipes and the shelving this color and they came out very very good and I was like wow now I gotta do the walls All right, here we go again so <laughs> once you start somewhere it can get intense. Also, I can recommend the better grade the paint, the better you're going to get. Two coats, as you guys saw me put on here, was necessary. That one took three to get that color. Okay. Uh, the right type of primer. Also, uh, 
if you really want the best greatest finish uh, you might have a professional skin coat the walls and and sand them down so you get a really really great professional finish but most people don't need that it's really not necessary okay taking your time when it comes to painting you get a much better project than rushing saying wow I got great paint it's gonna come out great getting paint all over the place bad idea okay <laughs> you'll see all kinds of videos that tell you how to paint this is not for this is for this sample stick I want you guys to see give you some ideas um, if you make your samples and you keep them out of the sunlight somewhere in, in a closet uh, basement or somewhere then the colors won't fade and you got to match the color whatever happened you get an accident in a building a house uh, location and you have to match that color you can do that hence the video I hope you guys enjoyed the video any questions just ask I hope I gave you all the proper information on the colors if I get it and you got any questions put in the comments below you will get the answer I'll see you guys in the next one bye